you know me but if you didn't now you do today i will be unlocking the platinum trophy for guardians of the galaxy this is one of the most fun and quirky games i have ever played the team are a bunch of smart butts and they really complement each other out on missions now like psn profile says it will take me 20 hours to complete 59 trophies which is a ton but I wanted to see if I can do it in 15 or under. This means I'm only able to do one playthrough where I have to focus on one, completing the story, two, getting all 126 collectibles, and you guys know I hate collectibles, and three, doing cleanup with chapter select as fast as possible. Hope you guys watch the whole video and hit that sub button so I can buy my mama house. It starts off with Star Lord, Rocket, and Groot traversing through the quarantine zone trying to find a monster to sell to someone known as lady hellbender we have to crouch under pink goo and we also utilize groot's root growing abilities to cross big gaps we come across spiky purple and green eye blobs which jump all over us so for my first ability i unlock my jet boots to fly in the air self-improvement ah purchase your first star lord ability let's go let's go first trophy of the game during this first mission rocket actually challenges me to see which one of us can destroy the most bug nests they are the white and green ugly looking things the team also placed bets on who they think will win and we all know who won i'm a very competitive player i wasn't gonna let some ugly nappy dog i mean i mean raccoon beat me <laughs> Let's go! Eat it, rodent! Eat it! Rocket! I won the bet! Let's go! He thought he thought he was nice! He thought he was nice, but I destroyed more nests than him! After squishing the spiky enemy blobs, using Groot to get around, and as well as arguing with the team, we finally come across the big bad quarantine zone monster. Llama Wrangler! What is that? Capture the quarantine zone monster. What the hell is this thing? I am Groot! <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Definitely not a monster. <laughs> now shooting gooey bubbles, fighting blobs, coming across the actual monster of the quarantine zone, we are able to hop back on our ship and make our way out of the quarantine zone, which brings us to the end of chapter one. Uh, Let's go! No, a risky no gamble. Boring. What is this? Complete chapter one. All right. I'm, I don't even know how many chapters. I think there's like 12, actually. Let's go. Risky gamble. Since the quarantine zone is a restricted area, we are stopped by Nova Corps. Basically, the police of the galaxies. They found the illegal llama that we had captured and arrested us for not following the rules. Now, don't get me wrong. Shooting stuff and having your team bash you about random things is cool and all. But we all know we have to do it while looking stylish. like a glove what is this find and equip one outfit let's go i have right now i have three different outfits i have the the normal one this one i just found and i have this one well, i'm gonna wear this one i like this one now when the nova Corps captured us we ran into a little 12 year old girl who tried to take control of the situation but instead was in the way of a big explosion causing us to get to know her and get this we had a history with her mother 12 years ago so if you can do the math you see who's right in front of us. Now her mother releases us on a condition that we pay a fine of 8,000 units. The team discusses how we are going to come up with those units on the ship and that brings us to the end of chapter two. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs Let's on go, my ship, my ship. busted. That's, that's just, guys, that's only chapter two. And I, I love this game. I love all the dialogue, the combat. This is actually really cool. I, I can't believe I haven't played this. We decided that we were going to trick Lady Hellbender into buying a monster, but that monster being Groot, we would have to rescue after we sold him. On the way to Lady Hellbender's fortress, we run into multiple new enemies. We got the Mantane, a flying mantis type of enemy. We also got the Jackal Gel. It looks like a harmless cube of gel, but in the middle are pointy things that can extend to hurt you. And last but not least, we got the Slake Beast, a tentacled tiger type of enemy. We also get stuck in this red gel quicksand, so Star Lord has to use his gun's new elemental ability to save Rocket before he drowns and dies. Flash freeze, what is that? Here we go again. 
acquire the ice element for star lord's guns so apparently now his guns can shoot ice and turn things into ice that's actually crazy bro <laughs> Now, Guardians of the Galaxy is fun and funny, but what's not fun is when your teammates go down and you can't defeat the enemies without their help. Teamwork is the best work. Wait, wait, I gotta heal Drax. I gotta heal Drax. No. I gotta heal Drax. I gotta heal Drax. Get up, Drax. Get up. Pick me up, trophy. Let's go. What is that? Wait, 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 wait. Revive a fallen team member. This is actually a pretty tough fight. There are many ways to damage enemies. Most of the time they are fighting back, but if you damage them enough, you can put them in a stagger state where only you can hurt them. Stagger swagger, whatever that is. Hold up, wait. Stagger 25 enemies, all right. I've been trying to get this other trophy. Uh, it's something having to do with Drax cutting off his tail, bro, but I can't get it. After defeating multiple enemies and finding a cage to put Groot in, we finally come across Lady Hellbender's fortress, but before we get to it, we have to walk across the longest bridge ever, where we also have a little flashback of our birthday with our mom, and that brings us to the end of chapter 3. The cost of freedom! complete chapter three we had to walk the longest bridge just so that we can get to this fortress to sell Groot bro oh my god turns out lady hellbender knew that Groot was in fact not a monster and she knew he was very friendly so she used that against us and cloned him so that the cloned Groot would lead us into this big boss fight with a huge big headed squid enemy squid kicker wait what is this defeat the dweller in darkness that's that that's that big floating thing watch this watch this oh gamora slicing it in half bro oh after defeating the big-headed squid the team escapes with the 8,000 units and heads back to their ship but unfortunately Lady Hellbender catches up to them and jumps on their ship with one of her pets. We managed to shake her off, but now we are in bad standing with Lady Hellbender, and it looks like she holds a grudge. <laughs> what? The Monster Queen? Complete Chapter 4. Why is Rocket screaming just because the lights went off, bro? Since we now have the 8,000 units to pay the Nova Corps fine, we head out to their station, but when we get there, turns out it is completely empty. We search around for people and come across a few soldiers, ones with a blue glow around their helmet and others on the ground without it. It was an execution. Some of them have been brainwashed to execute the other soldiers, so as a team, we decide to go fight them. Ooh, wait, Katethi and Handshake, what is this? Execute an auto combo with Drax. Oh, there's auto like there's combos with other guardians. I didn't. That's pretty cool. I didn't even really see him. I just uppercutted that guy and then didn't that happen. While fighting the brainwashed Nova Corps soldiers, I am able to do combos with specific people on my team. Now Gamora is probably the most fearless one on the team, so she is always ready to jump in. Killer friendship. Yo, I'm unlocking trophy after trophy. Wait, what is that? Execute an auto combo with Gamora. I didn't even see it that time. <laughs> While fighting, the team builds up a momentum bar, which has different levels to it, ranging from fantastic to incredible to uncanny to amazing and lastly, marvelous. When filling up each level, we are able to do special moves. Unstoppable force! Wait, wait, what's going on? Attain the maximum possible momentum 10 times. I'm getting so many trophies and I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. <laughs> now, Gru is probably the most friendliest one on the team. When someone needs him, he does not hesitate to come right over and help them out. We all need a Gru in our life. Timber! Another trophy! 
execute an auto combo with Groot, bro. Let me, oh, I gotta help out Drax right here. Now, since we don't know what's going on, we make our way through the station, fighting a bunch of brainwashed soldiers just to get back to our ship. We went there to pay our fine, but instead got met with a ton of enemies and we had to work together to make it out safely. And that brings us to the end of chapter five. Now what? You should set course here. They bear our issues. Do or die. I think this is, yep. We're completing chapter five. Chapter five was actually pretty short, but it was pretty interesting too, actually. After escaping safely, we head out to nowhere. Literally, it's a place called Nowhere. It's where the markets are and a ton of people. We head there to find our friend Cosmo to see what's going on. But on our adventure, we run into two of Lady Hellbender's minions. But they were not small minions. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Family intervention. What is that? Defeat the Blood Brothers, bro. Oh my gosh, they took forever. After failing at finding Cosmo and also fighting the Blood Brothers, we get knocked out by something and we have a flashback to when we were with our mother and we get taken by these ugly aliens who also shot and killed our mother, which brings us to the end of chapter six. Damn. Between a rock and a hard place. Damn, so we just saw how his mom died. That's crazy. But let's keep going. <laughs> After finding Cosmo and explaining to him why we were looking for him, he helps us out and transports us to Novacore Station again, but this time to find the leader's office to see what's going on. But when we get there, the gravity is turned off and we are floating around the room. Unfortunately, Star-Lord is the only one that can navigate with his jet boots, so he has to turn on the gravity again but he messes up and actually opens the door to space. And since he knows everyone's in danger, he uses a newfound elemental ability on his gun to short circuit the gravity power supply. Acquire the lightning element for Star-Lord's gun, bro. This guy's gun is crazy. It has ice, Gravity electricity, and I mean, so far only those two, but damn. While making our way to the leader's office, we run into more brainwashed Novacore soldiers. So as a team, we have to go crazy and take them down together. The crowd goes wild, bro. Wait, what is this? Execute a flare attack 10 times. I think that is the like the triangle circle combo move. Oh, he needs help. Hey, get off of get off a rocket. Once again, we run into a new type of enemy, a Nova Centurion. This one is one of the tougher Nova soldiers, but Gamora doesn't waste a single second and goes to work on him. Get him! Let's go! No way, Nova Corpse! Interrupt a Nova Centurion with Gamora's call to action. Guys, the thing about these call to actions is that they're lucky. Literally, any one of the Guardians can do one. So if I do one with Drax, I fail the trophy. If I do one with Rocket, I fail the trophy. It has to be specifically Gamora. During the story, there are many collectibles that I need to collect, as well as Guardian collectibles, which are different items that, when picked up, appear in the rooms on the ship of that specific Guardian, so that we can have conversations about them. Yes. manager real skills what is that find all of the guardian guardian collectibles for one guardian let's go guys i'm not gonna lie i've been following a collectible guide for this playthrough that's i mean what do you want me to do huh <laughs> now that's just all the collectibles for one guardian i still have a lot to collect for the other guardians oh thoughtful captain i just got this one Right after I got the manager real one, find half of the guardian collectibles. I'm gonna be honest guys, I hate collectibles in games. I w there's no reason to add them. Just give me gameplay. Just give me gameplay. I don't wanna go around collecting 
different stuff. After fighting a lot of Nova Corps soldiers and making it to the leader's office, we find out that there's a community taking over and promising people things that aren't actually real. At the end, we try to escape, but we get captured by their ship, which is huge. And that brings us to the end of chapter seven. Oh, I was about to say, I didn't get a trophy for completing chapter seven, but there we have it. It's right there. K9 confusion. Guys, this whole time I've been collecting the collectibles and paying attention to the story. This thing is actually crazy. We went from exploring some death trap planet to meeting with a Nova Corp, like they're like the police force of space or whatever they're at. Then we have to find it's crazy. It's crazy. Keep watching the video. Keep watching the video. After getting captured, they spent a long time explaining to us what they are doing. Basically, they want everyone to obey them because they will give them what they want, which is in fact not true at all. It's just an illusion of what they want. They also put Star-Lord in the illusion where he was able to go back in time to save his mother, but he snapped out of it and realized it's just not true. Stop hugging me. Peter. <laughs> Mama's boy. Damn. Defeat the Meredith Quill delusion. That's crazy. They took him back in time to save his mom who died when he was a little boy because they took him away from her. And then they try to make it seem like she was like you know how they do those like those little back things where you can go back in the past and you can save somebody and then they'll be alive? It was just a delusion. <laughs> once they realize that the team isn't going to align with them, they set out to destroy us. And once we get in a big fight, we all have to stick together and try to survive the wave. Now Rocket, the genius raccoon of the group, is the most deadly one. He will not stop until the enemy is taken down. Aim assist? What is that? Execute an auto combo with Rocket. Bro, these auto combos, I, I don't even see when they happen. And Rocket's so small. He's like a little raccoon. I, I don't even see him doing anything. After defeating the group of enemies, I realized that was tougher than expected and that we haven't been upgrading our abilities. So I set out to do just that. I think I should get a trophy right here. Yup. Dynamic team. I had 10 points and it is invest in at least one special ability for Gamora, Drax, Rocket, and Groot. And that's what I did. Now we are stuck in their ship trying to get out, but since we just upgraded our abilities, the team and Star-Lord have a ton of new toys to play with, especially Star-Lord. Yeah, yeah, you guys are done. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Damn, I got, I got a lot of, wait, what is that? Wait, bullet hell. Defeat 15 enemies with Star Lord's fan the hammer ability. I, oh, that's that. Oh, that's the one where I was. I was just doing. That. <laughs> what the? That's actually pretty cool. Rocket the raccoon, being the genius that he is, he decides that we aren't going to make it out unless we stop them from following us. So we blow up a section of their ship, which then covers our butts. But we get thrown into space and freeze just for a few seconds. But luckily, our ship comes by to pick us up, and that is the end of chapter eight. That was crazy. The matriarch, complete chapter eight. They fell into space and they froze. But then the ship came out of nowhere and, and like caught them and now heated them up. That's crazy. After making it out of the church's ship, which is the group trying to take everyone over, we head out to talk to the world mind, which is basically what the name means. The world mind, a collective group. Now we do run into some problems in space, but after defeating them, we now have to figure out how to talk to the world mind. We decide to make them think we are going to pay our fine, and once we get their attention, they tell us there's nothing they can do about the situation and that they are going to flee. After calling them cowards and weak, they have the audacity to still make us pay our fine, even though the galaxies are in danger. <laughs> like what? Just because we had illegal contraband on the ship they want us to pay eight thousand units no hey i'm just kidding i, I got to right. for the for the trophy over with. <laughs> galactic frugality oh, wait 
Pay your Nova Corp fine. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what All happens. The universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on a Nova Corp fine. I mean, the whole Dude, universe the is gonna end. To what do we need it for? Us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. Payment right, successful. That's story. crazy. Let's get <laughs> After talking with the world mind and seeing that they aren't going to do anything, we set out to get as far away as we can. But our engines fail, and we get stuck in space for a while. Everyone is stressed out, especially Star Lord. So he goes to his room and naps once he wakes he sees his younger self and also rocket telling him that they landed on the quarantine zone once they get out they start getting sucked in by this entity but once they all do turns out he was still napping Drax. i can outrun it you can Wait, I was still sleeping? Wait, what's this? Desperate. <laughs> Drax, what a, Drax is whispering in my ear. Wait, complete chapter nine. Wait, wait. Quill. Bro, Drax, back up. Back up. Man's always doing this. Once he fully awakens, they find out that Drax has been taken over by the church and has accepted the promise. Drax traps them in their room and sets out to find the golden guy. Once they escape their rooms, they set out to find Drax and try to help him remember that none of it is real. But they still all need to find the golden guy because he will help Drax snap out of it. And on the way there, we run in to a few enemies. Let's go! Groot did it! Groot come out! Interrupt a charger with Groot's call to action. These are all about luck. You, like you, the call to actions trophies are all about luck. It takes forever. Drax manages to free himself from the team, so he tries to take them down. But once he does, he falls over the edge of a bridge and is close to dying. Once again, Star-Lord sees something terrible about to happen and he unlocks a new elemental gun ability to pull Drax back up. Get back here, Drax. It's okay. Bro, oh, what kind of power is that? Ah! Oh! Uh, <laughs> fan friction. Acquire the wind element for Star Lord's guns. All right, that was definitely not wind. That was some type of so green sorcery pulling back type of gun machine. <laughs> they run into a few more enemies and a few caves that trick the mind, and they also find the golden god guy, Adam Warlock. He realizes that he has to help them because this is basically his fault and they all go inside of Drax's mind to pull him out of his illusion and entering his mind, we come to the end of chapter 10. What? Test of faith? What? what is that? Complete chapter 10. Yo, that chapter was so weird. There was a lot of mind things going on and there was this one part I couldn't talk. Every time I I like, I made a, 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 a I don't know. While in Drax's mind, we come across Drax burying his family, as well as a group of Thanos clones that Drax goes after. As we all know, Drax killed Thanos because he sent the order out to kill Drax's family. So he's mad about that. We have to fail. That's That's why I couldn't see. Titan Slayer? Don't tell me that's for... Survive the manifestations of... Yo, I should have kept going. There would have been like a hundred Thanoses, bro. We fight Drax and Thanos and enemies in Drax's mind until we reach the end where we convince him to part ways with his family and help him realize that yes, it's what he wants, but it isn't real. In the end, he comes with us and we escape safely, coming to the end of chapter 11. Let's go! Mind over matter, complete chapter 11. Drax was under a curse. We took him to the planet. We went through some mind-bending stuff. We saved Drax. We figured out everybody's under a curse. All we have to do is take our daughter out of the curse and everybody else will be free of the curse. We now head out to go back to nowhere to find Cosmo who has been brainwashed as well into accepting the promise. Now when we get there, there are a ton of enemies we have to fight but luckily Star-Lord has a new charged shot ability in his gun. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Let's go! Set him up! Knock him down! 
I have to use. Wait, that's for the charge. Yeah, defeat 15 staggered enemies with a charged shot. Making our way through the nowhere market, we realize there is no shortage of enemies. So Drax steps in with his new ability, which helps us take them down even faster. Wait, adding injury to insult? What is that? Defeat 10 enemies affected by Drax, Wrath of Katath ability. Wait, I thought that. Wait, I thought I only grabbed one person. Like I said, no shortage of enemies, and we are still trying to make our way through nowhere. Around every corner is a group of Centurions or the church's soldiers. Luckily, Gamora has a new slice and dice ability. Get him, Gamora. Get him, Gamora. Damn. Slice and dice oh. Trained to perfection. That's facts. Gamora is trained to perfection. Defeat 10 enemies with Gamora's executioner ability, yo. <laughs> Gamora's crazy. After defeating all those enemies, we then find the 12 year old child and it turns out they have brainwashed her into thinking her promise will come true. She then betrays us and heads on out with the golden god guy who they captured. You Damn, nowhere to run. Hey, get it? nowhere to run they try to switch the word okay all right, all right i'll leave it alone <laughs> complete chapter 12 let's go we come up with a plan to offer lady hellbender a big dragon as a peace offering so that she helps us attack the church we set course to find fin fang foom which is the dragon's name and on our way there we have to venture through this icy planet but at one point, we get stuck, and a big ice platform gets hurled at us from above, and the only way to safety is through some ice. So Star-Lord, once again, sees everyone in danger, and he comes out with a new gun elemental ability. Bro, now I, I, can, now I have like some type of hot <laughs> melting oh, yeah. thing. Let's, Let's go, another weapon ability, the plasma shot. Lava launcher, acquire the plasma element. Bro, this gun is actually crazy. And he got this gun from his dad. This thing is actually crazy. It has four different elements. Like that. What? We make our way to Fin Fang Foom, and once we reach there, it's a long fight because he's a big dragon. But in the end, you know who won. Let's go! Foom's Doom. Defeat Fin Fang Foom. Bro, this fight took forever. Look at this big dragon, bro. Now you guys know how much I hate collectibles. Luckily for this game, I don't have to get 100%. So in the end, we completed chapter 13 by defeating Fin Fang Foom. And we also got 65% of the collectibles. The Lore yes! Hoarder. Collect 65% of all galactic compendium entries of each category. I don't know what that means, but I think that's the collectibles. I'm, I think I'm done finding collectibles, bro. Oh my god, I hate collectibles, bro. By the way, that chapter was actually pretty interesting. I think we're about to get another trophy here. Yep, against all odds. And this is for, yep, completing chapter 13. Bro, we're 71% done with the trophies. We're so close. By the way, that chapter was super interesting. It was like a, some type of ice world with meteors falling down. And we had Wendigos. We had these tentacle things. We had these slug ice things. But And last but not least, the dragon. The ice dragon. That, that was crazy. That was crazy. Now, once Lady Hellbender accepts the peace offering, we head back to where the church is and we get on with fighting all the brainwashed enemies. Herbal Remedy? Revive or heal companion 10 times with Groot. I didn't even know. Wait, does Groot do it automatically? What the? I didn't even know what I was doing. I literally, I just died. <laughs> I also realized I have enough points to unlock each guardian's abilities, so I do just that, so I'm ready for the boss fight later on. Oh, I have enough points to unlock all of their abilities real quick. Okay, that's one for Drax. Last one for Gamora. Star-Lord already has all of his. Rocket, one more. 
and Groot one more and I should fully load it let's go I finally have all the abilities oh my goodness invest in all special abilities for all companions let's go now since this is where everyone is enemies are coming at us non-stop so I ask Rocket over and over to destroy them with his barrage of missiles Let's go, boom show. Bro, you guys probably saw me get that trophy. I was, I'm so focused. Cause these, this game is not easy. I mean, it's easy, but it's not. Like you have to, you really have to use different elements on different enemies. There's so many different types of enemies. There's, <laughs> but let's go, boom show. Getting closer and closer to the platinum. Now me being Starlord, of course, the strongest and sexiest of the group, I use my abilities to blow up enemies over and over with grenades. Take these grenades! Altitude adjustment? What the hell? Defeat 20 enemies with Starlord's Eye of the Hurricane? Oh, that little grenade move I did. Bro, I'm just doing different moves. I'm just playing the game, honestly. <laughs> We finally reach the Grand Unifier, the person who is brainwashing everyone, as well as the child. But unfortunately, we are too late because he puts us all under the promise illusion and keeps going with his plan, which brings us to the end of chapter 14. Peter. Into Peter. the fire. Complete chapter 14. That's actually pretty cool. You can save her. After we help everyone overcome the illusion, even the child, we all work together to fight the Grand Unifier. Now it was a tough fight, but we are the guardians of the galaxy. Let's go! Faithless! Yo. Defeat Grand Unifier Raker, bro. Oh my god, that fight took forever. This guy was blinding me. This guy was throwing electricity. That's what you get. That's what you get. <laughs> After defeating the Grand Unifier, everyone walks out unharmed, even the Gold God guy, and he hops on our ship, bringing us to the end of chapter 15. Or is it? Let's go. Broken promises. Complete chapter 15. Don't worry about little old. I feel simply fabulous. Come on. Wait, what? Eternal. Whoa, whoa, what is even? Whoa. Wait, the game is not over. The game's not over. <laughs> After finding out the gold god guy turned evil because of what was inside of him. We had to get him mad to fight him and get him closer to us. Once we did that, we sucked out what was inside of him and put it inside of a stone, which then brought us to the end of chapter 16 and defeating him. Domegus. Yo. Complete chapter 16. Now the game is over. Now the game is over. I mean, well, the story. Not the plan on grind. That, that's crazy. Wait, poetry critic? Defeat the Magus. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, that was complete chapter 16. This one is Defeat the Magus. Oh, okay. Those two only. Damn. <laughs> ah, damn, Peter. It's gotta be okay. Why you gotta grab Red that Magus? stone like that? After everything we went through, all the weird enemies, new elemental abilities, promised illusions good guys turning evil we finally came to the end and destroyed the church you can call us the guardians of the galaxy Peter Quill, we have decided the guardians of the galaxy the let's go guardians of the galaxy complete marvel's guardians of the galaxy let's go and as you guys can see top right 55 out of 59 we need four more trophies let's get right to it but i wasn't done with my trophies i had to get drax to do his special move on one of those weird 
tentacled tiger enemies, which took a while because it's all about luck. That's you right there, Drax. That's you right there. Let's go, Drax. Let's go. Slake Buster. Interrupt a sleek beast with Drax call to action. Like I said before, guys, these call to actions are are all by luck. You it has to be that exact uh guardian to call it. Sometimes most of the time I get Gamora, sometimes I get Groot. This is the first time I got Drax, which is what I needed. Thank you, bro. Oh my gosh. I have to do one more of these. One more. Let's go. And I also had to get Drax to rip off the arms of a big robot guy known as an Inquisitor, which was all about luck. So I had to keep restarting the checkpoint. Drax, the Dismemberer trophy, bro. Oh my. That's the second to last trophy I need. And it's a stupid call to action one. You have to get lucky. I've been here restarting, restarting, checkpoint after checkpoint. He finally did it, bro. He finally did it. And now for our last trophy before the platinum. And last but not least, throughout the game, I had to collect every single outfit for each guardian and equip all of them. All right, guys, the last trophy before the platinum, I just have to equip every single outfit i acquired throughout the game and i don't even have to look at them just boom 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 drax done moving on to gamora wait a minute outfits boom 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 mm. all right moving on to star lord outfits star lord has a lot of outfits and they're pretty cool honestly they're pretty cool this one right here is actually pretty ugly <laughs> but moving on moving on next to rocket look at this one look at this one real quick guys this one is fire anyways bam 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 and last but not least my boy groot i am groot one two three four five six let's go fashion passion bro fashion passion you guys see it find and equip all outfits and now, without further ado, it is currently 5.30 a.m. 5.30 in the morning. 5.30. This is what we do. This, this is what we do. This is what we do. We get platinum trophies at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Guys, like I said, it is currently 5.30 in the morning. This is what we do. We get platinum trophies. I'm going, I'm, I'm guys, I'm trying to get these platinum trophies as fast as I can so I can post these videos for you guys. I'm having a great time recording and editing these videos. If you guys are enjoying the videos, definitely hit that sub button, hit that like button. I'm trying to buy my mama a house later in the future. And honestly, I, I really like making these videos. I, I'm, I like this. I, I like this. And as you guys can see here, we completed the platinum trophy in 15 hours. I said in 15 or below, we did it in 15. PSN profile says it will take 20. It's not that much of a difference, but hey, I did it in 15. Anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let me know in the comments. Always let me know in the comments what game you want me to do next because honestly, I don't care if this affects my health or nothing. I'm here to bring you guys videos. All right, let's. I'll see you guys in the next one. That was a great platinum. By the way, the game, amazing. Cutscenes are kind of long, a lot of collectibles, but the game is funny. The, the combat's really good. There's so many different like um gun elements, enemy types, different move sets, uh, everything. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.